Here is a, a new video on sound intensity and here we're doing a little more formal look at how the intensity that we hear from a source that's a, at a distance away that puts out a certain amount of sound, what the intensity is like at that distance. And the equation we use for that is fairly simple. The intensity we hear is equal to the power of the source divided by the area over which the sound spreads. And remember, the area over which the sound spreads is a spherical area, and so we know that the area is 4 pi r squared, so we can then say that the intensity is equal to the power of the source divided by 4 pi r squared. Just kind of imagine a beach ball that gets bigger and bigger and bigger, or a balloon that gets blown up, and we're looking at the surface area, so the intensity of that sound gets divided over the surface area as the surface area gets bigger and bigger and bigger as it goes further and further out. Not unlike the intensity of light, that's the same thing, it's the same principle. Um, and the uh, effect of gravity as it goes out is the same thing. So everything seems to go out as 1 over r squared. All right, let's plug in some numbers. So we want to know the intensity at 25 meters. So the intensity is equal to the power divided by the surface area of that expanding balloon, so to speak. So this is equal to 20 watts divided by 4 pi times 25 meters and we square that. So let's see what the intensity is and of course this will first give us intensity in watts per square meters and then we still can convert it to decibels. So let's do that. So we have 20 uh, divided by 4 divided by pi and divided by 25 squared equals and so that gives us a sound intensity of 2.546 uh, times 10 to the minus 3 watts per square meter. All right, so that's the intensity that person hears. Now, what would that be in decibels? Well, intensity in decibels is equal to 10 times the log of the intensity that we hear divided by the reference intensity, which is 1 times 10 to the minus 12 watts per square meter. That's the threshold of sound. So this is equal to 10 times the log of 2.546 times 10 to the minus 3 watts per square meter divided by 1 times 10 to the minus 12 watts per square meter. That's our reference. And so that would be equal to, let's see, divided by 1 e 12 minus equals, and then take the log of that, right? So take the log. And so this is equal to 10 times 9.4, which is 94 decibels. So, a person standing 25 meters away, which is about 80 feet or so, from a source that puts out 20 watts, will hear a sound intensity of 94 decibels. Hmm, I wonder what a person hears when they're in one of those cars that have speakers that put out 3,000 watts and you're just a few feet away from it. A lot more than 94 decibels. I wouldn't want to be in that car. All right, that's how you do that.